Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PHP Runner tips and tricks and uh, I am going to show you the correct way how to copy a button, a custom button uh, and paste it somewhere else in your project. There is however a wrong way to do this and a correct way and uh, I'm going to show you both and why you should use the correct way all right so let's just start right away let me go uh, to the website here and show you what i mean where i use this so you will see that on each and every uh, blue section here there's the regional and also then the advisor managers there's buttons here the date range and the reset selection button the date range is there and the reset selection button and that button appears all over the place in fact in each and every one of those windows reason being if you scroll down and if the button was only on top of the page it would have been and you want to make a date range selection you click on date range you will have to scroll up to the top of the page again and then to get to that button so that button I just copied and pasted into other windows as well so I just want to show you it's an obvious thing to do but there is a wrong way to do this actually going straight then from here to uh, my project um, this is just the project tables what it looks like I'm going to jump straight to the designer page on the list page of this master record you will see here I have the date range button and there is also then the reset selections button for this purpose I will actually just delete this reset selection button that's easily done by just clicking remove over there now I only have one button now the wrong way let's start with the wrong way wrong way is to go and insert a new button you will go here to insert custom button new button and then call it reset selections Okay, and you can click OK and guess what there you have a button that was the wrong way let me explain why if you go to the events page right at the bottom almost at the bottom of here here yeah, you have a custom buttons section and you will see that I have two reset selection buttons over there now just by looking at that you don't know which reset button you're working with because it's named exactly the same so i can go okay the top one is my old one and uh, this obviously is the you know, the code it needs to run and then the client after code so what you can do and it's going to allow you to do this copy and go to this client after and paste all of this here and copy the code over from here to that button and so on but remember now I need that button four times on the page so that would mean that I will have to do this what I'm doing now four times and this what I'm showing you now is the wrong way of doing it let me show you the right way I'm gonna go back to the designer page I'm gonna delete this button how do I put the correct button in there and it's very similar just let me show you how I struggled with this you can now 
go to any other button. This is how I have tried it, but didn't work. There is the reset selection button. You click on it, it selects, and then when you right click on it, you would expect a drop down list in say, copy or delete or properties or whatever. But however, in this designer page, when you right click on this button, it will not do anything. So this is where most people get confused and then go and create buttons the wrong way. The correct way of doing this, you don't even have to come to this page. Going back to my previous page where the button is still missing, I'm going to select that cell obviously. I'm going to do exactly the same. Insert, custom button, and instead of this blue new button, which is pretty much in your face and that's the first thing you're going to click because that's what I did. Um, here at the bottom is all custom buttons that's already created in the project. And you can just select the reset selections button from here. Now, if I go over to my events page, you will notice that there is only one reset selection button over here. And this is the correct way of doing it. Now I have one button code to maintain in case something uh, needs to change in the future. So I just come here and change this code here once and all buttons wherever this will appear on the page it's actually one code to maintain and that's my friends is the correct way of doing so well hopefully this was helping somebody and uh, i just want to thank xlinesoft.com uh, for this amazing software please go and uh, get your copy if you haven't done so yet a new build has just been released build 32062 it's amazing these guys are keep on updating and improving on the software Please do yourself a favor and go get a copy. Thanks for watching. Until next time.